Obviously, I'm uh, disappointed with the Catholic Church's decision not to apologize. A prime minister who knows a thing or two about delivering apologies thinks saying sorry shouldn't be this hard. We know that uh, taking responsibility for uh, past mistakes and asking forgiveness uh, is something that is core to our values as Canadians. Justin Trudeau made an appeal to Pope Francis at the Vatican last year. This week, the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops issued a letter. The Holy Father is aware of the findings of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which he takes seriously, it reads. But as for an apology, after carefully considering the request, the letter says, the Pope felt he could not personally respond. Uh, Pope Francis has already apologized. He's expressed regret and sorrow for injustices to Indigenous people. Church officials point out Francis asked forgiveness in 2015 for crimes against Indigenous people throughout the Americas. His predecessor, Pope Benedict, met with residential school survivors in 2009 and expressed sorrow for their deplorable abuse. Sorrow is never enough. Uh, one has to take responsibility um, for uh, the harm that was done. Catholic groups that ran residential schools have issued apologies over the years, but a statement from the Pope delivered in Canada was a key call to action from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. We heard repeatedly from survivors of abuse in Catholic residential schools that they needed to hear an apology from the church and they'd never heard one. The Pope is expected to eventually visit Canada. When that happens, calls for an apology will no doubt grow louder. Residential school survivors and their supporters say their fight isn't over. Tom Perry, CBC News, Ottawa. Securing an apology from the Vatican is just one of the 94 calls to action made by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. CBC News has an exclusive progress report on each of those measures and where they stand. You can find it at cbcnews.ca slash beyond94.